It's the final game of the NFL's 100th season, and it all comes down to this. Chiefs offense, 49ers defense, the matchup everybody cares about. Fired up to watch this. Patrick. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people flock to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl, wagering over $150 million. And every year, the question is the same. San Francisco 49ers. The Kansas City Chiefs. Who's going to win? But what if I told you for two professional gamblers preparing to fire nearly 100,000 on the big game, they could care less about who's going to win. I, I looked at this already. You didn't. It's not a. It's not a good it's, Okay. In the divisional round, when Coleman played early in the game, he got all the carries inside the five. Right. The days leading up to the Super Bowl can be a tense time for sports bettors. Small fortunes can be won or lost over a single play. Oh my God! It's picked off at the goal line. For twin brothers Max and Danny Steinberg, high stakes swings are something they've dealt with for their entire adult life. Professional poker players from 2008 to 2015, Danny and Max racked up millions at the poker table, along the way capturing tournament titles, which included Max earning a prestigious World Series of Poker bracelet in 2012 at the age of 23. However, with the explosion of daily fantasy sports in America, the brothers decided to fully transition out of poker in 2015. In daily fantasy sports, your edge is derived from more accurately predicting a player's individual performance than the competition. It's what led Max and Danny to partner and invest in the data modeling and predictive analytics company in 2018, Sabersome. And while this undoubtedly helps them in their daily lineup building for fantasy sports, it affords them a unique opportunity during the Super Bowl. Locals now lining up as sports books release their proposition bets for Super Bowl 54. Every year, Las Vegas sports books offer hundreds of prop bets based on individual performances. This year we have more prop bets than we've ever had, uh, 500 prop bets. Now, after years of building their databases, tweaking their algorithms, and perfecting their data models, they're ready to put their simulations to the test. Yeah, the line here is, is the best line. Yeah, I, I bet on it and then they just moved the line a, a shitload. Let's go big on this one. Um, I just think the juice is a little too big for betting that over. I think there's going to be better bets than that. This line is like way, way off. It's really bizarre. There's a Philly-Boston points versus Garoppolo gross passing yards, which is interesting. We better Jimmy Garoppolo that, but if, I, I'm not. Okay, I'm just interesting. Gonna, okay, yeah. yeah, I'm down to do one that matches that. Max and Danny have zeroed in on the Niners' passing game. They've decided to bet five figures on overs for QB Jimmy Garoppolo, along with wide receivers Emmanuel Sanders and Kendrick Bourne. Long pass, it's almost nothing. So the fact that San Francisco is like really good against short passes is probably something that's actually underrated by, like they're probably a little better than people, is what I'm saying. Okay, cool. They've also spotted an interesting one with Chiefs wide receiver Demarcus Robinson. The Westgate has set the over-under for Robinson's first reception to be 10 and a half yards. But it's unclear how the Westgate will grade the bet if Robinson has a zero reception game. If it's graded as a win, Sabersome's data suggests this bet has a massive edge. After consulting with a staff member at the Westgate Sportsbook for clarification on the rules, Max returns with some exciting news. I was right. If no reception for Demarcus Robinson, it's an under. Okay, then let's bet that. For let's sure. bet. I'm gonna try to like bet as much as possible. Does and Saberson says it's plus EV. Uh, oh, for sure. Really? I mean, let's see. Let's see if I can actually find Demarcus Robinson. It says they say there's a 20% chance that he won't catch a ball. Period. Yeah. Okay. This one seems crazy. Really? Is this really? But the he price? could not get a reception. 
This one, Danny, I like, I'm like. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna bet as much as oh, possible. Oh, it, it even says it here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna bet on Demarcus Robinson first reception. I'm going under. Yeah, that seems to make perfect I'm gonna see if they'll take it. Yeah, I would bet as much as you want to bet. Okay. okay. It's Super Bowl Sunday, and the brothers are hard at work. And this market should be way out of whack if they're just capping everyone. Please right, everything. but that's exactly why I <clears throat> like the Emmanuel Sanders receiving yards bet, because I feel like we have angles on both of those. They've opened up mobile accounts at most of the major sports books, so they can work right up until kickoff. Could you log it for me? Sure. More time coming through data and shopping for the best prices on bets. Less time waiting in lines. Uh, what's the odds? Minus 110? Minus 110, yeah. And uh, how many pass attempts? 28 and a half. Everyone knows about the Chiefs' high-powered offense. And as a result, the betting public has driven up the lines. Max and Danny are betting that the 49ers' stack defense will be able to keep all pros, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, under these inflated betting lines. With kickoff fast approaching, and the books now limiting their action, the stress levels are mounting. How are you feeling, Max? Uh, stressed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling really stressed. All right, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. gonna leave you alone so you can focus. Thank you. Our Saberson likes it too. Yeah. And Coleman seems fully healthy. Max and Danny have been eyeing the 49ers crowded backfield. And in the divisional championship, he got all the carries inside the five-year line. And Mostert played a lot. Mostert played well into the third quarter, at least, if not in the fourth quarter, too. And with news breaking that previously injured Tevin Coleman is now active for the game, it gives them the confidence to make their biggest wager. Okay, so we just got done, um, and which is was pretty crazy. Uh, we got a, a just about seventy thousand dollars down. Our biggest number, I think, is Matt Breida basically not playing. We're yeah. hoping for or him just like playing a snap and just not playing anymore. They have four running backs active. This is Super Bowl 54. The Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Betting props makes for an interesting viewing experience. On one of the first plays of the game, Debo Samuel takes a handoff for 32 yards down the right sideline, $3,200 in bets, down the drain with only two minutes off the clock. However, the theme of their betting is for the San Francisco passing game to overachieve, while the Kansas City passing game underachieves. They will also have their eyes peeled for number 22, Matt Breida. They need the 49ers running back to record a snap. Otherwise, the bet could be voided. And midway through the fourth quarter, Matt Breida has yet to see the field. Let's take a look at where they stand with nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. Here are a few bets out of play. Mostert scored a rushing touchdown late in the third quarter, and Jimmy Garoppolo threw an interception in the first half. Many of the 49ers passing and receiving overs are in jeopardy since they are sitting on a 10-point lead looking to drain the clock. Mahomes and the Chiefs have only managed to put up 10 points, which all but ensures a lock for Mahomes' unders. But it doesn't take a statistician to know that Mahomes and the Chiefs can explode at a moment's notice. And that's exactly what happens. With nine minutes left in the game, this seemingly inconsequential punt ends up being a massive turning point for Max and Danny's prop bets. Number 22, Matt Breida, takes to the field for his first snap of the game, San Francisco's first punt of the night. And a few plays later, with 7 minutes and 13 seconds left in the game, Chiefs down by 10, facing a 3rd and 15, and the Niners holding a 95.4% win probability, everything changes. He's throwing long downfield for Tyreek Hill. Got it! At the 20-yard line on 3rd down and 15. And Mahomes guns it for 44 yards. When the dust settles, the Chiefs are hoisting the Lombardi Trophy after an improbable comeback leaving Max and Danny to their laptops, checking the final stats. Jimmy Garoppolo managed to hit his overs, likely as a result of trying to recapture the lead in the final moments of the game. 
Mahomes and Kelsey, despite the impressive fourth quarter performance, posted pedestrian numbers. And finally, their biggest play of the game, Matt Breida, did not accrue one offensive stat, but did play one snap, that fourth quarter punt that resulted in a fair catch. Not the most glamorous bet, but their most profitable by a mile. We won 25K according to Zimbabwe. As long as we win that Breida bet, I think the, the challenge for Garoppolo came in clutch. The big ones we just killed. I mean, Matt Breida played special teams. He didn't get one rush or one reception. Um, we, the Demarcus Robinson didn't catch a ball. Yeah. So Patrick Mahomes did go under yeah, rushing. He did? Yeah, he did at the very end. Oh, yeah. He lost 10 yards at the very end of the game. Oh, my God. That's great. Donnie was just telling me that he had the over on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're celebrating over here. <laughs>